Hello friends, this video is brought to you by www.mwayteaching.com. Quadrilaterals. We will study the type of quadrilaterals and their properties. Then we shall study the properties of parallelogram. And finally we will be in the position to study the midpoint theorem. Let us start with quadrilaterals. Let us mark four points. If all the points are collinear, we obtain a line segment on joining them in pairs in some order. Now consider four points such that three of the points are collinear. Then if we join them in pairs, we get a triangle. Now let us consider four points such that no three points out of four are collinear and let us join them in pairs. We obtain a closed figure with four sides. Such a figure formed by joining four points in an order is called a quadrilateral. A quadrilateral has four sides, four angles and four vertices. More specifically, in quadrilateral ABCD, AB, BC, CD and DA are the four sides. A, B, C and D are the four vertices. Angle A, Angle B, Angle C and Angle D are the four angles. If we join the opposite vertices A to C and B to D, then AC and BD are the two diagonals of the quadrilateral ABCD. Let us also recall the angle sum property of a quadrilateral. It says the sum of the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degrees. In other words, for quadrilateral ABCD, angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D should be equal to 360 degrees. Can we prove this? Sure, we can do it. Let us draw a diagonal AC. So now we have two triangles. Triangle ADC in which angle DAC plus 
एंगल ए सी डी प्लस एंगल डी इज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्रीज वाई बिकॉज द सम ऑफ द एंगल्स ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल इज वन एटी डिग्रीज सिमिलरली एन ट्राइंगल ए बी सी एंगल सी ए बी प्लस एंगल ए सी बी प्लस एंगल बी इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्रीज नाउ इफ वी एड द टू इक्वेशन्स वी विल गेट एंगल डी ए सी प्लस एंगल सी ए बी प्लस एंगल ए सी डी प्लस एंगल ए सी बी प्लस एंगल डी प्लस एंगल बी इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज सो नाउ वी कैन राइट एंगल डी ए सी प्लस एंगल सी ए बी एज एंगल ए एंगल ए सी डी प्लस एंगल ए सी बी एज एंगल सी एंड एंगल डी प्लस एंगल बी इक्वल टू थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज सो हेंस वी हैव प्रूव दैट द सम ऑफ द एंगल्स ऑफ अ कॉन्ट्रीलैटरल इज थ्री सिक्सटी डिग्रीज if one pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral namely ab and cd are parallel we know that it is called a trapezium if both the pair of opposite sides of a quadrilateral are parallel such a quadrilateral is called parallelogram namely in quadrilateral pqrs pq is parallel to rs and ps is parallel to qr in a parallelogram mnrs if one of the angles is right angle say angle m then such a special parallelogram is called a rectangle and this clearly implies that a rectangle is a special type of parallelogram now consider parallelogram defg it has angle d equal to 90 degrees and all the sides are equal so it is a special type of parallelogram called a square that would mean that square is also a special type of parallelogram consider the parallelogram abcd in which all sides are equal but there is no condition imposed on the angles such a parallelogram is called a rhombus that would imply that rhombus is also a special type of parallelogram now look at the quadrilateral pqrs in such a quadrilateral where adjacent sides are equal that means pq is equal to ps and rq is equal to rs it is called a kite
also note that a kite is not a parallelogram let us now try to develop some relations between parallelograms especially squares rectangles and rhombus consider a square it has one of its angles as 90 degrees and all the sides are equal so can we say that square is also a rectangle yes that's true because a square satisfies all the properties of a rectangle in which opposite sides should be equal and parallel and the angles should be 90 degree hence we can say that all squares are also rectangles now let us see if all squares are also rhombus yes they are because for a parallelogram to be a rhombus all sides have to be equal irrespective of the angles hence a square satisfies the condition of being a rhombus and that would mean that all squares are also rhombus but the converse is not true all rectangles are not squares all rhombus are also not squares now look at this trapezium is a trapezium a parallelogram clearly the answer is no because in a trapezium only one pair of opposite sides is parallel while in a parallelogram both the pair of opposite sides have to be parallel then is a parallelogram a trapezium yes it is why because for a trapezium one pair of opposite sides have to be parallel while nothing is said about the other pair of opposite sides and in a parallelogram one pair of sides is parallel so a parallelogram can be a trapezium but all trapeziums cannot be parallelograms